I'm here with Marshall Brickman. I'm Michelle Murphy, and we're here for Guildhall's Big Bash in New York City. Welcome. Well, thank you. So nice to meet you. Likewise, nice to yeah. meet you. It's kind of noisy here, isn't it? It is noisy. Um, do I understand that you're also, among all the things you do, uh, quite a musician, and you started in music. I started in music, yes, yeah. I, but I don't know if I'm quite a musician. I used to be a pretty good musician, but mm -hmm. then I got a little, a little thing, a little viral thing in my pinky, Ooh. which makes me, um, makes me uh, a, 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 a manqué, if I may okay. use a French term. <laughs> I'm a musician manqué, but I uh, love to listen bien. to music, yes. Oui. Well, part of my career was as a musician. I was yes. a studio musician. How long an answer do we need? Well, um, I'm just interested in, didn't you start, was it bluegrass? Yes. I yeah. went, I, listen, all right, can I speak freely now please, that it's 2011? Please. I was a red diaper baby. I was brought up singing We Shall Overcome. Me too. Okay, and Michael Row the Boat Ashore. Oh, yeah. My gu guitar and banjo and those songs yes. and the camps where you learn those songs where everybody right. got into a field and, and right. joined arms and sing union labor songs. Yeah. So that was my introduction to music. And then I got involved with the banjo. And then eventually uh, my roommate and I from college did the soundtrack. It may say so here, but since I don't have my glasses and I'm old enough to get an achievement award, a lifetime <laughs> achievement award, I can't read it. But we did do the soundtrack for uh, the movie Deliverance, Dueling yes, Banjos. Yes, yes. Uh, you and Steve Martin now with the banjo thing. Steve Martin, okay, let's. It's become very speak? chic. Yeah. Can I speak the truth? Steve Please. told me that he learned to play the banjo by listening to my record. Okay? Now, you guys are a similar age. What? <laughs> this is funny. Well, I'd like to think so. <laughs> and we live in the same building. Do you and, really? and as a matter of fact, Steve is a spectacular banjo player. I know. You know my I mean, brother is his tour manager. <laughs> oh, what are they called? The red dirt clay uh, something like that. They're something? coming to Guildhall uh, this summer. I know, good for him. He's kept yeah. the flame alive. Yeah, but, but uh, like you, he's a multi-multi-talented uh, guy, isn't he? I know, he's like, like me, I could not never come up with anything I really liked, so it kept changing. <laughs> Music, television, movies, yeah. theater, yeah. and now this. Yeah. Now they can kill me. <laughs> so, so um, reading about your history, didn't you meet, was it Woody Allen through your music way back when? Do I have that right? Is this all about Google? Is this what no, everything no. is about now? I, I just honestly, Google I swear, people? I've never Googled this man. Cross your heart? Yes. <laughs> Woody, Woody was the opening act for a group called the Tarriers yes. that I was in. Mm -hmm. It was the first interracial group. We had two Jews from Brooklyn, two blacks from Harlem, and uh, Woody was our opening act at the bitter end, and we had the same manager. Oh. And I used to... What was his name? Do you remember? Whose name? Woody? Uh, the, the manager? Yes, mm -hmm. the, the legendary Jack Rollins. Yeah, uh, Rollins and Jaffe. Rollins and Jaffe. Jaffe now, dear, departed. Rollins. Jack is in his well in his 90s, as spry as a fill-in-your-metaphor, uh, and the, the great, great manager of everybody, including Harry Belafonte and Nicholson May and Joan Rivers and Robert Klein and... Uh, anyway, and um, Charlie, actually, this is a long answer. Charlie, his junior partner, thought that Woody and I could write together because I was the guy. Remember folk music? You're not old to remember. Oh no, we're about the same age, and yeah, about, I we're well both remember. about 38. Yes, and, that's right. And um, uh, I was the guy who talked while everybody tuned up mm -hmm. because I could tune up faster. And oh. um, and he was quick-witted, I'm sure, even back then. I wrote it on the side of the guitar, okay. and uh, and so I did the jokes, and Woody and Woody came out and did 20 minutes to absolute silence. It was really interesting. They had no idea, the audience had no idea what to make of him because it was very original, very personal stuff about mm -hmm. psychiatry and his marriage and orgasms and stuff. It was and so outspoken. I used to be a waitress at Catch a Rising Star. Do you remember that place? Sure, but Bud Freeman. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. no, that was called the improv, but Catch a Rising oh, Star. Okay, yeah. okay. Anyway, that was uptown. Anyway, this isn't about you. Okay, forget that. Bleep. Go ahead. No, go ahead. It's about him. It's about him. <laughs> it's all yours, baby. All right, go ahead. So, yeah, so you remember, yeah. uh, you, did you see Woody in the early days? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I remember those silences. And great, all great. the best people started that way. I know, I know. Yeah. Anyway, so, yes, that's how we met. We met backstage at the Bitter End many years ago. 
Wow. Huh. Is that it? Have we done enough? No, we haven't. Okay. What else do you want to know? What Tell else? me what's what. What are you up to these days? What's your passion right now? Well, you know, I'm in the theater. Yes. And I'm straight. Yes. And Very unusual. So. That was my wife. <laughs> and um, uh, we have these two shows on Broadway, inexplicably, Jersey Boys and The Adams Family, which uh, have we can't kill them with a stick. Um, the, the Jersey Boys has gone on. We're all over the world. We have like 18 companies. I mean, it's quite, it's, and I can walk to work, which is different from doing a movie where you have to wake up at 4 a.m. If I can say something else about me, I said to my husband, what I want for my birthday is to see the Jersey Boys. We got front row seats. It was unbelievable. Uh, tell, I tell, loved it. Tell us how you liked it. <laughs> Tell me more about how I feel about your show. Yes. I loved it. I loved it. Love and then the Charles Adams, of course, is uh, his foundation is out in the Hamptons. That's and, right, in Wayne Scott. Yes. And when my daughter was studying there, they said, guess what? There's going to be a Broadway show about Charles Adams. And I said, how can they do that? And you did it. Also, well, Hannah wanted to say hello to you. <laughs> Some... Hannah wanted to Excuse say me. congratulations. <laughs> It's still early. It could change. Right. It could. It could. Between <laughs> Thank you. now and then. The, He's sorry. in for a great night. The great he Hannah Pakula, gorgeous. ladies and Say gentlemen. Hello. Another Hi. fabulous Hi. author. <laughs> Shang Kai Shek. Thank you. What is that? A train sounds like it's leaving. They may be ready for you. I don't want to really? keep you too what is long. This? Now, is this just therapy for you, or does this appear somewhere? Well, therapy for me. Can I lie down? Will it make me all better? No, I mean, do they let you do this and then, and then t tell me? Because uh, um, there's no, you know, like yeah, NBC yeah. or anything. Right. Like, yeah. No, this is for a television station out in the Hamptons called LTV. Oh, God. Local television. I, LTV. I yes. was there at the inception of LTV. Were you really? We rented a house from, <laughs> from the man. From the man who started LTV, help oh. help me. Oh yes, um, uh, Fraser Doherty. Fraser Doherty. We yes, rented the Doherty house on Drew Lane. Oh, it's a it, it's a beautiful house. And she I had four names, and one of them is Hersey. Yeah. The wife was married to anyway. So yes. I was there. Yes. Yeah. So it's wow. so it's so that's great. Yes. That's yes. Great. Yes. Well, more power to you. Yes. Thank you. Thank oh. you. And it's right. doing brilliantly. And tonight is one of the high points. I have to say, well, having you hope here. So for my sake. And you live out there part of the time, do you? Um, not, any, not anymore. We used to have a big house in Montauk mm -hmm. near Dick, actually, uh, yes. Adam Ditch Plains. Yes. But now that the girls are gone. And it's a three and a half hour ride. Yes. We've sort of retreated a little bit, but we're going to be back. Oh, good. I see. I'm here under false pretenses, actually. <laughs> I don't. I might as well be living in Passaic. <laughs> no, we're thrilled to have you. Well, and if you ha you sweet. have some connection now because you're on LTV, it makes it great. all legitimate. I think it's great. great. You're very sweet. Thank great. you. Well, thank okay. you.